This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety of codes up on their website, reaching from Eternatus, Zation, League Battle Decks, you name it. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every day. And you can uh, sell cards as well as buy cards from people all across Europe. And it's very easy to use. So definitely uh, check the website out by using the affiliated link in the description below. You're going to be helping me out a ton. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. Today we are up against Jack from Omnipoke. This is week 14 of the Omnipoke Online League and uh, we already uh, did quite well. We're uh, currently ranked 5th out of 20 players which is actually pretty decent. Right now we're actually going to be leading off with none other than ADP Zation because I just think he doesn't expect us to lead off with this deck. So that's why we're going with this first. We also have, uh, of course, Baby Blacephalon, the deck I'm uh, currently like uh, in love with this season. So uh, this is the list we're going to be rocking out uh, with Blacephalon. We do have the Great Catcher in here, which is very, very crucial. And also the Tempo Zard shenanigans is in here. And then the last deck is going to be Santa Scourge V Max with Scoop Up Net. So we're going to be just uh, challenging out Team Omnipoke. And uh, we're just going to start off with our ADP Zation. This is also the list running hammer. So I'm taking this competition very seriously. And... Uh, yeah, and just big scale regionals and all that. I am just happy to just go for stuff like just playing Bla Blasafalon over and over again. But now I actually have to change things up because people expect me to play the stuff instantly. So I'm actually going to go and see who wins the coin flip here. We'll see. Very important for sure. Because if we are able to get this first W or if we go second, it doesn't matter. It all depends on what the opponent will be doing. Is he going to go first or second? He could also be playing Santa Scorch, don't know. He's uh, still deciding whether to go first. Okay, I can go first. Well, <laughs> we start with none other than uh, Crobat here. That is uh, not good. We do have Cherish Ball and Quick Ball and even the Big Charm to go along with that. Okay, it's Sinisty, interesting. Okay, what are we gonna do here? We're just gonna go for Cherish Ball. Getting ourselves an Zation. Azation and ADP, what am I saying? I'm already confused as it is. We can go for Quick Ball. Get rid of the Metal Type energy. Go for Azation and then Intrepid Sword, or do we go for the Danny Jacks and just try to go and play it that way? I think I will just go for Azation. Azation, we can Saucer as well. We can attach here and we can go for the Interrupted Sword. Okay, we have another Energy and Cherish Ball, which is automatically going to turn itself into the Danny Jacks, which is awesome. So either way, if he doesn't have a basic, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> if uh, we have access, yeah, we can also like attach to Crobat and then Saucer again. We'll see how it goes. We still need to find our Water Type Energy for sure. We have access to Cherish Ball and uh, Research, which is good. We have access to Crushing Hammer if need be. Didn't expect him to be playing Mart Mad Party here. Okay, there's Evolution Incense, six cards in his hand. We still have a, a Lone Crow battle right here, which is also uh, not too good. We can always have... Yeah, we need to find Switch here, for sure. We need to find Switch and we need to find a Water Energy. Will we do that? If not, things could go wrong rather quickly. We just need to get that GX move off and we're good to go. Very interested to see the uh, one price attacking Mad Party doing so well. I actually didn't want to slap too many Danny Jacks instantly. Maybe we should have gone with the Danny Jacks, but this is our first turn. It would have not mattered too much here. Okay, there's Galarian Mr. Rhyme coming from the Evolution Incense. Probably already has Sinisty Evolution Poltegeist in hand. There's a Bunnelby coming. Will he be able to slap some damage onto Crobat? He needs a lot. Okay, there's the Danny Jacks instantly getting woof. One, two, three, four, five. Five Mad Party Pokemon, that's 100 damage. He still needs four of them in the discard. That's a whole lot to ask for, for sure. Also, our Zation is already uh, uh, set up with two energies, which is a good thing. We can Crushing Hammer that one, that's fine. I wonder if he's gonna have something to slap damage onto our Crobat right now. Tool Scrapper, getting rid of the Big Charm, that's sad. Okay, Research, getting another one in there. Does get rid of the boss, which is good. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a Great Ball. 
Will he find what he needs? This is very uh, putting up pressure for sure. Also, Mawel could be a nice thing if he has another two prize Pokemon in his hand. There's an air balloon. He is able to strike instantly with this Bunnelby. That is very interesting. Is it gonna be for the full one hit KO? He has five. That's 120 damage. We do have a saucer, which is not gonna matter too much here. We're just gonna have to go for the Danny Jacks. Our Crobat will survive this turn, which is pretty important. Okay, there's the Mad Party, which we do survive. And uh, that's about it. All right, we have the Energy Spinner. Well, that's good. Now we just need to find ourselves the Switch card. There is four switches in there. And there's three research, so we should get this, right? A Water Type Energy here. Crushing Hammer Time. It is Tails, doesn't matter too much. As long as we get the Switch, it's good. And we still have access to a, a research. I just hope we get it. It's the NAGX time. Let's rock it out. Okay, there is that switch card. Even the swell, interestingly enough. So, we switch it over to ADP. We use the chaotic swell, leaving the quick ball for another Dedani Jax because our hand is not looking too bright here. You can always like boss this Dedani Jax for three prize cards or maybe boss him right now so he needs to attach to it, which is doesn't gonna make a huge difference. It is not gonna make a huge difference here. If we boss him, he might be stuck, but he could still like uh, have another air balloon ready for his Danny Jacks. And we only take like three prize cards, which is actually not bad. Maybe we can just use something like Mawel afterwards. We'll see. I don't know if he's gonna slap down enough of these fellas. I'm just that I'm gonna use the Pulte guys first, and we're gonna go from there. Yeah, it's gonna be just Alter Creation GX. And now the opponent is on a clock. We can. We just need to KO three Pokemon, and he needs to KO also, also three Pokemon. And I don't know if he's gonna have the necessary stuff here. He can Bunnel B. Yeah, he already has the attacker ready. I don't know. Yeah, he definitely. He needs to have boss this turn, and he already threw away one boss. We'll see how that turns out. As long as our ADP survives and is able to use Ultimate Ray, we should be good to go. We also have a Saucer. Yeah, I think we just need to slap our second Danny Jacks down, to be honest, with that quick ball. And just have our last attacker be a Mawal. Because these Bunnel Bees do not have a huge amount of HP. Or maybe we can slap down another ADP because they do have a huge amount of HP. So we can have very tanky GX Pokemon. There's a, a Twin Energy coming onto that Poltegeist. Also, we do have Crushing Hammers by our side. It all depends on what we top deck, to be honest. I also want to maybe be slapping down Mawel, so he actually slaps down his Crobat, which would be very hilarious. I don't know how many the Danny GXs this list runs. But the more cards he draws with the Poltegeist, the better our Mawel play would potentially be. Okay, we have energy switches as well, so if we don't find an energy from that Danny Jax, it should still be fine. I think we're just gonna boss the, the Danny Jax, and at one point, yeah, he does have the air balloon, so that boss stall would have not mattered here. There's Quick Ball. He doesn't get rid of stuff like Crobat, so I just hope he still has the Danny Jax in his hand somewhere, so Mawel can slap that down, and we just need to go through to the Danny Jax. We also have Great Catcher by our side. Okay. Here's Quick Ball. What is he gonna get? Is he gonna get another Dedenny Jax or not? Okay, there's another Dedenny Jax. That's huge. That means if we, yeah, we could, like, he bosses us. Okay, fine. That's good. We have Quick Ball, Dedenny Jax, we have Boss, and we have Great Catcher. So we only need to go after these two Dedenny Jax. Maybe he thinks he can knock out the Zacian right now. 7, 8, 9, that's 180. Still needs two more. I wonder if he's gonna get that. Still needs two more. Okay, he evolves into that one, which is actually pretty interesting. You could get uh, another tea break going around. A great ball. Come on, with it. Just get yourself Oranguru. Okay, there's another Danny. That's not good. 
I'm getting a little bit scared. Zacian might not survive, but we do have access to Ultimate Ray, which in the end is also good. And he has two Danny Jacks up on, on board, which is also good. Come on. No more mad parties. That's 10. 200 damage output. Battle pad. He gets boss back. Boss, boss. Yeah, that's what has to be expected here. Very close indeed. Will he find his... Okay, mad party. We. S oh yeah, he did have the 220. Did I miscalculate here? 200? Oh yeah, I forgot the bundle be there. Well, that's that's good. That's well played for the opponent. We have a saucer already. We could... Yeah, Slash also gets a KO. <laughs> Funny enough. Okay. Crushing hammer. It is heads. We're gonna get rid of... Uh, Poltergeist. We need to now focus all of our attention onto the Danny Jaxes. That's what we need to do. Quick ball. The Danny GX. Let's go! We still have access to Eldegos as well. Okay, there's an energy. And then we have another boss in hand, so. We're turning ourselves into quite the enormous monster here. <laughs> Just gonna go for ultimate ray. Bam! Water energy, metal energy. Yeah, he could reset stamp us, so we're actually gonna go and tin the deck. One here, one there, <laughs> one there. So they all can retreat nice and easily. And we have boss in hand, so he needs to like reset stampers or something. We have a quick ball. Our ADP will survive, we have 310 HP. So he, he probably will not get, get that number. He just barely got to 220 to start off with. We have boss, we have quick ball. Yeah, how many quick balls have we used already too? Hmm, funky. I don't know if he is playing uh, a reset stamp. A reset stamp would be broken here. Also, if he doesn't get the KO right now, we can just KO two little bundle bees and we're good as well. So that's also a nice idea here. And also we still have access to one saucer so we can technically get Mawal GX up on board. So we also have Great Catcher. So we have Great Catcher boss to win us the game. Unless he plays Giovanni's Exile right now. But if he plays Giovanni's Exile, our ADP survives anyhow. So it's the same scenario. We just need to set ourselves up with another attacker, which is going to be Mawal in the first place. Mawal, attach of turn, and we should be good to go. Quick ball. Also, his Giovanni's Exile might be prized. Maybe he thinks about using boss instead and hope he, we don't have a boss in our hand. Interesting development for sure. Okay, quick ball with four cards in hand. Already has the energies. Maybe no more mad parties in hand. This ADP is pretty tanky, so either he bosses or Giovanni's exile, and he cannot do both because he doesn't play search. And we also, oh yeah, there's a Crobat, okay. Another two price Pokemon. Does he find the Giovanni's exile though? Tea break, okay, he's digging for it. Needs to dig for a lot of cards. Yeah, we still have access to Mawal. I don't think he... Is he playing three, three copies of the Danny Jax? Or only two and a Crobat? That's what we need to know right now. How many math parties in here, by the way? That is 10, 12, 240. Giovanni's Exile, wow. Okay. That's well played. I actually expected this. I expected it. So it's not the biggest issue in the world. Because we still have an energy left in deck. Yeah, we still have an energy left in deck, and the Mawal automatically dishes out enough damage. Okay, there's a Mad Party, which we do survive, which is totally awesome. Okay, two Metal-type energies. Yeah, do we... M mad... I don't want to draw into, like, crazy stuff here, so we are actually going to go with this. Getting ourselves Mawal in play. Let's see here, what does he have in hand? 
<laughs> the Danny GX. Well, 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 well. Here we go. Marwell saving the day. Well played. <laughs> oh boy. He did have another Danny Jax in hand, so that Marwell was busted. Okay, we got ourselves the first W. We are not able to play Blown again. Woo! We did it. We did it. Okay, just need to ask him if he wants to go first or second. Team Omnipoke, and uh, we will be playing our... Do we play Baby Blounds right now, or do we play our Santa Scourge list? I think I want to be playing Santa Scourge. Maybe he doesn't expect that, right? Santa Scourge, VMAX, Let's... Is this the list that I'm talking about? Yeah, this is the list with the... Let's go! Okay, that Marwell play was busted. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you are nice by playing Giovanni Zaxal, but having another two prizer in your hand costs you the game. Although if he, we had our, also our big charm, so he was never able to take four prize cards that game. Okay, it's another deck. So he gave up on Mad Party. We'll see what it is very shortly. Okay, we lost the coin flip. He can decide, which is good. We can go first again. So he's playing a fire deck. And we are playing a fire deck as well. Okay, who is the better fire deck? Okay, the Danny Jack start. Well, that's busted. So we are actually gonna go with Quick Ball, getting rid of an energy, getting ourselves our good classical friends. Sent to scores. There's three of them in here, three communications as well. Let's get them. Attachment. We do have scoop up net, so it's gonna be good. Not gonna, don't have to slap down the Danny Jacks just yet. We can Welder onto Sensus Scourge and then the Danny Jacks. Unless he is playing the ADP list, then he can Mawel or the Danny Jacks, which we still don't mind too much because we have Welder in hand. Okay, there's a Fire deck. Yeah, it's a Fire deck. Fire versus Fire. Is it going to be Tempo Zard? Starting with the Danny Jacks is already a great deal for us, by the way. We can actually technically dunk him. If we welder onto Santa Scorch, attach of turn and find Heat Rain GX, we can actually go for the Hot Burn GX and knock out the Danny GX in one blow. Also, we can actually could have gotten out a Cramorant here and also slapped uh, 160. Maybe we can still top deck a Quick Ball. He has energies. He is going to welder onto his... Uh... Ooh. He could still go for Heat Rain GX, by the way. If he doesn't have a basic, it could be technically over because Santa Scorch VMAX is strong enough. Okay, there is a Heatran attachment, and he's going to switch that around, right? Switch that around. Okay, we can still take two prize cards if we are, find ourselves Sense Scourge VMAX. He's also going to be losing a ton of energies, by the way. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. This was not the perfect start for him. Also, he's going to be losing his Heatran GX here, which is good. That means no crazy plays out of nowhere. <laughs> we also have a Heatran GX of our own. Well, that's funny. Two of these. We're gonna actually slap down the Heatran uh, just in case things go wrong. Ta -ta. Also, I think we do... Yeah, we do have switch here. Attachment of turn here. The problem is, do we go for Sense Scorch VMAX or do we Heatran GX as well? He could still double blaze GX and get the KO onto us. Ah, uh, so many questions. If we don't draw into Sense Scourge VMAX, it's gonna be bad. So I'm actually gonna just do the exact same thing and just knock him out. One, two, three, four. Should be good. Uh, not gonna be using the Danny GX just yet because we have access to Giant Heart Welder and then we can strike with Sense Scourge VMAX afterwards. So Hot Burn GX takes care of that. Uh, what do we got? Scoop up net. I actually was afraid to uh, go and dig for that uh, Sense Scourge VMAX because I've seen uh, crazier whiffs and uh, as you see, only has a Danny Jax up front. Shouldn't worry about this too much. Maybe he whiffs on another Pokemon. Two fire energies first. Makes me think he's not gonna be playing down the Danny Jax. Maybe he welders again. We didn't see a Quick Ball earlier on. Okay, there is another Poke Gear. Maybe he whiffs. He finds another welder. He's gonna welder onto Danny Jax once again. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's so sad. That's so sad, okay. Lots of energies onto our Heatran Jacks though. Okay, there's a Sense Scourge of its own. <laughs> okay, either way, we need to, if we slap 130, then attach to Sense Scourge. Do we do something good with that? We do have access to Fion. 
Peon could be nice in this situation, or we can top deck something like uh, Cramorant and already take two prize cards on the Dana GX right now. Okay, with three energies, we do get the huge one hit KO here, so that's awesome. So, Giant Heart, two energies. We Welder, 40, 80, 120 damage output. Okay, we have Fion. We have a communication for the good old classic Santa Scourge V Max. We just need to draw into an energy. Santa Scourge V Max. We're gonna switch over to Santa Scourge V Max. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be the Danny GX, hopefully, finding ourselves a Fire Crystal or a Fire Energy. Okay, none of those. Let's see here. We do have a Crobat in here. Was it in there? That's the main question. Yeah, the Crobat is in here. That's good. Scorch, Pokey Gear. <laughs> do we get the Welder or not? I don't think we'll need the Welder since we have uh, the Eldegos in hand. Come on, fire energy! Yeah, there we go. Attachment here. And uh, yeah, let's just go for the G Max Sentiferno. Get another two prize cards. Getting two, uh, an energy to our Santa Scorch. That's a lot of energy. So he still needs to take five prize cards. We only need to take two more. So he cannot rely to two prize bench hitters or he's done for, seeing as we do have Fion, which can actually sacrifice itself. So we can actually make sure we can use Aldigos for boss. Yeah, that's what I thought. Great scenario to be in. Great scenario for sure. So, uh, Santa Scorch mirror match is going our way. We have a huge Santa Scorch. We can sh okay, he's gonna weld onto Santa Scorch, which means he can help boss, which means we can set ourselves up with another Santa Scorch. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Attachment onto Santa Scorch. Quick ball. Yeah, just get your Dedane GX. I know you want it, so we can Fion. <laughs> it's gonna be this or nothing. He cannot bench anything because we can KO anything. That's like the main issue right now. Because if he slaps down any Pokemon, he could get slapped down a one price Pokemon, but he cannot slap down a two price Pokemon. Interesting. Also, let's just calculate. Right now we're smacking for um, 160, 200 damage output. Okay, there's an Eldegos. Slap it down, please. Slap it down. Slap your alley goes down. And now I wish we had Mao LGX. So, Sense Scorch VMAX with four energies at 200 damage with three more energies. Let's see here. Right now, 200 damage output, three more energies is the KO, right? Isn't it? Maybe. We can also like scoop up the uh, Fion and just go for crazy the Danny place. 200 damage. Out. Yeah, that's 200 damage output with three more energies. That's the one head KO. Right? Right. Okay. Two more energies coming down. We're gonna try and make this work. Quick ball, whatever. Fire crystal in here and one energy. Okay. Crazy stuff for sure. Crazy stuff for sure. Are we gonna try it? Of course we're gonna try it. Oh boy. Okay, we get it. Well played. You have a good deck. Here we go. G Max Sentiferno. Boom! The Scent Scorch eating up the Scent Scorch. And we even get another energy. So that's how the Scent Scorch works out. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed another video of uh, the Omnipoke Online Play League. And uh, yeah, if he had gotten a reset stamp, it would have been a little bit better. Uh, but this is just ridiculous. Getting two victories against Mad Party. I was uh, a little bit scared. I also didn't bring my Blounce because I actually expected everybody to think that I'm playing Blounce. But now that I didn't play Blounce, I'm better off right now because you have to bring the unexpected. So hopefully you guys enjoyed another video. Be sure to check out my lovely sponsors. We have, of course, PoTownStore.com. Uh, for, of course, all your TCG online needs. Maybe you're looking for the Danny GX code cards. Get yourself the trainer toolkit. Maybe you're looking for ADP League Battle deck so you can play that awesome Zation deck we just uh, showcased. 
yeah, you can get everything and everything is up on stock. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. So don't forget to uh, yeah put that in when you are uh, checking out. Also, uh, be sure to check out cardmarket.com. They are, of course, fantastic for European players. You can buy cards and sell cards to people all across Europe. And uh, I personally use it every day to get rid of uh, cards that I don't need anymore. So hopefully you will check it out. Use the affiliate, affiliate link in the description below. You're going to be helping me out a ton. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So uh, this was Omnipoke Online Playlist week 14. I'm out.